So I always wanted to build a, uh, let's say, lightly sophisticated um, lightning detector. And uh, right now I want to show you the weather outside. As you can see, a storm is approaching, and what I want to show you is it's right here. Okay, this is the detector itself. Um, it has two channels. Uh, the sensor, it's uh, on the flat roof. It's not a big deal. It's a um, radio receiver and uh, two uh, switches connected to it of uh, different sensitivity so uh, I have two channels a high sensitivity and a low sensitivity this detects the uh, more distant and uh, close and everything uh, yeah and this one uh, only flickers when a closer lightning strike is uh, detected uh, the concept is the same uh, as the projects you can find on uh, www.techlib.com uh, You will find it on the, in the description So, uh, this is the power on Here I have the intensity meter Right now you can see it's not a big deal uh, I've seen it uh, rising up to the number 5 And then the alert the LED uh, brights up. Here I have the meter switch to switch between the high or the lower sensitivity to display it uh, on the meter and this is a digital counter which uh, counts only the uh, close strikes. Ah, you can see. And uh, by adjusting this spot you can hear that uh, the um, high sensitivity beep and the low sensitivity beep differs that uh, there are two audio generators working in inside this box uh, each uh, has a different note so you can distinguish uh, by the sound uh, you can distinguish the closer strikes or the um, the others of uh, distance uh, this is the mute button in case uh, like uh, last night we had a severe thunderstorm and uh, it was really annoying that it was beeping and everything so you can turn it off and I can switch here uh, between the sound mode or a sound level this is low level it gets a smoother sound you can hear it So in this position, uh, it beeps uh, silently, like so, and in this position, it becomes more loud. And this is the alert. It has an alarm comparator inside incorporated, which uh, triggers a switch, a relay, uh, which connects my antennas to the ground, because I have uh, some very long wires hanging outside and I don't want those uh, pesky charges uh, coming inside my room. So here it is. If you are interested in the basic schematics, uh, you can find it on www.techlib.com uh, techlib.com, like technical library, uh, but shortened. Uh, you can find very useful schematics over there. So this is it. It's a cutie, it works very fine, and um, as I said, the sensor unit, it's up on the roof, it's mounted outside, so I am very curious when the um, antenna gets tickled by uh, a greater pocket of charges created by a close lightning strike. Uh, but, you know, everything has to be tested. So, here you have it. 73.